wishbone on the trail. Come on, wishbone. What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? The following is a test of my emergency broadcast systems. Help! You're my dog now. Anybody? Dog napping in progress. Help! Wishbone, we're going to live under this tree forever. What? I have a home already. Thank you very much. I've been captured, a fate known all too well by another great warrior. Odysseus was his name. The Odyssey of Homer is the story of Odysseus, one of the heroes of ancient Greece. On his way home from his victory in the Trojan War, he gets trapped on the island of Calypso. Calypso is a goddess, which means she can do anything she wants, whenever she wants, and you don't want to make her mad or else. She wants to keep Odysseus on her island forever. Ha! Fat chance! Gotta go! See ya! Oh, yep, she's got me on a pretty tight leash. Odysseus, come here, my love. No! Must be free! Hey. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get home. Odysseus was far away from home, where his family was watching and waiting for him. His clever and beautiful wife, Penelope, had been faithfully waiting for a long time, nearly 20 years. For her, home wasn't sweet home without her beloved Odysseus. Her memory of him kept her hope alive day after day. She did everything she could to hold on to the home they had built together, but it wasn't easy. Sometimes, all she could do was wait and worry. Wait for her husband's return and worry about what might happen to their son, Telemachus. Telemachus also dreamed that his father would one day return. And now for the bad part. Odysseus' house had been taken over by a bunch of party animals who were definitely not housebroken. like this in his house. Oh, give it up, Odysseus. <laughs> is never coming back. This is our house now. And sooner or later, your mother will have to pick a new husband. And it'll be me. No, it'll be me. <laughs> These guys were as mean as alley cats, with no respect for anyone or anything. I smell trouble at home. I gotta get back. No, thank you. I can see you're not happy here, my pet. I am not your pet. Odysseus, I wanted to make you forget about your home and your family. I thought I could make you happy here. Happy at the end of a leash? Perhaps I've kept you here long enough. I'm setting you free. Yes! I'm so excited! Don't get too excited. <laughs> Did I say excited? I have to warn you. You have a hard journey ahead of you. If you stay here with me, your life will be easy. I don't want easy. I want to get home, and I'll do whatever it takes to get there. Very well. 
I'll keep you no longer. Uh, oh, yes! Oh, I'll just take this for the road. Thank you! I wish you would stay, my love. Oh, don't take it personally, lady. You're really nice and all, but home is home. I gotta get back to it. Well, I can't stand these long goodbyes. Gotta go! Be careful. Oh, sure, careful. The sea can be dangerous. Okay, I'm willing to negotiate. Wishbone! Emily! Uh-oh. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm gonna live here with Wishbone. But Wishbone's not your dog, Emily. He is now. Emily, Wishbone's Joe's dog. He let you borrow him for pet day at kindergarten. He didn't give him to you. But I want him. I can't believe my sister's a dog napper. Excuse me, people! Let's cut the chit-chat and free the dog! Yes! All flowers, air, grass, tree! Tear swing! All right, we're gonna have to bulldoze out all this underbrush, so we got a path to bring the heavy equipment in. This tree's gonna give us some problems. All right, let's uh, get ready with the whole area to be paved. I want to completely stake with lime. Where is it? Get back to you later. Fred, you kids are going to have to get out of the way. It's right about here. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. May I ask you to move? Do you have any idea what you're standing on? I... Uh, well, I better move it. Oh, it's here. My shoes! Oh, excuse me. I know it's here somewhere. No, it's here. Yes! Hmm, Joe, I want you to have this. I really do. Oh, uh, Wishbone, what is that? It's a sock. It's some of my best work. Why don't you kids take your dog and go home? But isn't this a part of Jackson Park? No, nope. now it belongs to Suter Development Corporation. You'd be happy to know that in just a few days, we're going to be breaking ground for a brand new tasty oasis. Here? <laughs> Great. Well, first, we've got to do some clearing out so we can get the site laid out for the parking lots and the other stores. You're, you're going to pave this whole place? Of course. What? What? This is my burial ground. I've got stuff everywhere. This tree is mine. Leave it alone. Trust me, you don't want to mess with her. Sorry, sweetheart. But in a few days, this tree will be history. It already is history. It's been here for nearly 200 years. Wow! That's nearly 1,400 in dog years. You know, you, you look good for your age. My mom says that this tree is one of the oldest things in the whole town. We have a neighborhood picnic here every summer. Yeah, but a tasty oasis. Have you ever tried their super fudge delight or triple sundae with the, David, um... you can't cut down this tree. Sorry, young lady, but the city says I can. What? Don't we get a say in this? People already had a chance to say something. What do you mean? The city held a hearing on my request for a zoning variance. They can put up a sign, see? But... Since nobody had any objections at the hearing, I got my request. Well, we come here all the time, and we never saw that sign up anywhere. Yeah, what's it doing on the ground like that? Well, young lady, sometimes these things fall down. Accidentally, of course. Nobody had a chance to see that sign. That's not fair. Well, that's not my problem. I wanted you kids get off my property. Hey, mister, why don't you get off of my property? Ugh. Ugh, he got his germs on it. Well, here's looking at you, Tree. Are you sure that's our only recourse? Well, what about the Tree Preservation Ordinance? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Well, thanks a lot, Betty. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's perfectly legal. His construction plans were all approved by the city zoning board. And that new law to protect large trees doesn't even take effect until next month. It looks like King got his friends down at City Hall to rush his request through before the end of the month. But can't we do anything? Well, the only thing that we could do is get a restraining order until we get enough signatures to petition City Council for some kind of protection for the old tree. Yahoo! Oh, in here, Wanda. Here's that article about the old tree I wrote some years ago for the Oakdale Arbor Society newsletter. I'm sure this will change their minds. Well, I'm afraid our only chance is a petition drive. Well, if it's a fight they want, we'll give them one. Now, I've spearheaded plenty of petitions in my day, and nobody's been able to withstand a Wanda Gilmore petition drive yet. <laughs> I have a perfect record. Thank you, sir. How's it going? 132 so far. 
Ugh, we need 1,500. Don't worry. I've got the girls from the Arbor Society over at the mall. They'll pull the big numbers. Okay, well, that's good. Mom! Mom, they've already started. We've got to do something quick. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Bulldozer! They've got a bulldozer. They're starting to clear out the trees. David's videotaping the whole thing. So, if they want to play rough, hold down the fort, Sam. Come on, Joe. Be careful. this raft. I never liked you, Macho Odysseus. Uh, no problem. Don't mean to be swimming in your pond. I just want to get home. Then I hope you can swim. swim and this is nothing like a good swim <coughs> oh, I'm in the home stretch not even Poseidon can stop me now what can a dog say at a time like this I was very afraid! Are you okay, Wishbone? I got it all on videotape. Sir, some kids! Give me what's going on. I thought this tree was coming. Hey, this is not a playground. You kids are gonna have to get out of here. Excuse Somebody's me. gonna get hurt. Excuse me. Are you Mr. King of Suter Development Corporation? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm Wanda Gilmore of the Oakdale Arbor Society. And I don't like the way you do business. I don't know what you're talking about, lady. You're sneaky. You came in here so fast you thought the neighborhood wouldn't know what hit it. Well, thanks to these kids, we're on to you. Listen, lady, I don't care what you think about me or the way I conduct my business. The fact remains that I have a legal right to build a shopping center on this property. Not so fast, Buster. By this time tomorrow, our petition to stop you will be on the agenda for Monday night city council meeting and we'll put an end to this wanton destruction of nature. In the meantime, here's a restraining order to keep you off this property. What? Lady, this is an important economic development for this city. You're not gonna be able to stop this. And you won't get away with this without a fight. Yeah. <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> we'll give you a fight. <laughs> this is a battle. <laughs> Odysseus! <laughs> Telemachus. <laughs> Poor beggar. Wait here, I'll get you some food. No, no, it's me, Odysseus. I'm back. <laughs> Son. Where have you been? It's a long story. I'll tell you later. 
<laughs> hmm. First, we're gonna get rid of these guys. How? Don't worry. I've talked to your mother. <laughs> Where are the servants? I love it. I love it. More oh, wine! That's it. <laughs> I am setting a challenge before you. Whoever wins this challenge will be my next husband. Oh. <laughs> so you finally decided to forget about Odysseus? I'll never forget him. This is the bow of Odysseus. Whoever wins this contest must be able to send an arrow clear through these 12 battle axes. Nobody can do that. Odysseus could. There stands the challenge. May the best man win. Have courage. Mm. Thanks. Never fight on an empty stomach. Well, I'll do it. No! Me. Must be given a chance. Please, sir. Go ahead. Uh, well, thank you, Sonny. Okay, boys. Watch and learn something here. Trick is to keep your eye on the axis. All your little friends went away. Ah, that's much better. Hey, Dad, catch. Good catch, Wishbone. Why, thank you. All right, you two ready to go? Yeah. I really hope they're ready to listen to us. Yeah, so do I. Do you think we have a chance? Well, the best thing we can do is go in there and tell our side of the story. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Story? Story. The first time people got a taste of the Odyssey, they didn't read it. They heard it from Homer in ancient Greece. And nobody knows what Homer looked like, but this is probably what he sounded like. Hear that? It's ancient Greek, the language of Homer. Let me try a phrase from the Odyssey. Andra moi ennepe musa polyutropon hos malapola plante. Pretty cool, huh? In ancient Greek, ennepe means to tell a story. That's just what Homer did. Tell a story. Hmm. You know, ancient Greek is a little tough. 
but once you start chewing on it, it tastes pretty good. The word ecology comes from the Greek word oikos, which means household. Now, our community thinks of this tree and the land around it as part of our household. It's a backyard that everyone shares. Therefore, it only makes sense that this property be attached to Jackson Park for all of us to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. I'm sure all of you remember Ellen from your visits to the Henderson Public Library, where she is the reference librarian. With her eloquent testimony, along with what you've already heard from all my friends at the Arbor Society, must certainly convince you of the urgency of the matter and the need to stop the Souter Development Corporation before it's too late. But in the event that any of you aren't convinced, I offer the testimony of three people who must grow up in this community. What kind of Oakdale will we hand over to them? Shall we allow the likes of Mr. King to determine the quality of their lives? David? Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen of the council, my name is David Burns. I'm 12 years old, and I've lived here all my life. At first, I thought it was a pretty good idea to have a tasty oasis down the street. I could have gone there just about any time I wanted. But then I'd probably get sick of it after a while. The thing is, I know I'll never get sick of a bike path or the trees on my way to the park. They've been there for a while, and I don't think anybody's ever got tired of looking at them. Does the world really need another tasty oasis? I don't think so. Thank you. My name is Joe Talbot. I just wanted to say that I think it would be awful to cut down all those trees, especially the big one. When I was a little kid, I used to go to that one with my dad. There's a tire swing there, and he used to swing me on it. But after my dad died, my mom and I would go there. It was a good place to go and think about him. I know that tree belongs to everybody, but a part of it belongs to me and my dad. I'm Samantha Kepler. Everybody in our neighborhood can tell a story about the tree. But the tree also has a story to tell us. It tells us a story of summer when it's hot and we sit under its shade. It tells us a story of fall when its leaves turn yellow and red and cover the ground. Winter is a story of branches all by themselves. And then comes the part about spring when the green comes back again. Every time one story ends, another begins. That's what the tree tells us. And if we destroy it, we lose the story forever. Please, let us keep it. has determined that the land in question shall become a part of Jackson Park. I love picnics. All this food right at ground level. Mm. Anyone for a drumstick? Just raise your right hand. Okay, this one's mine. Well, Tree, you survive. Just like Odysseus and his family. And I just kept thinking, if I can survive this one, it'll make a great story. You told me about Calypso. You told me about Poseidon. Who else did you meet? Ever hear of a Cyclops? Big monster with bad breath and one eye. Not very friendly. Ah! Here, wishbone. Here, doggy, doggy. Oh, no. You can only fool a wishbone once. I take a little bite of food from you and BAM! 
damn, I'm back in the wagon! Well, I guess I can always eat and run. Okay, boy, not too close. Not too close. Just enough to grab the sandwich. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Mm. You could, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. How about that big piece in your left hand? Mm. Oh, ah, mm. 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 Emily, I take it all back. We're friends. <sighs> Lovely day. <laughs>